What's going on boys and girls, ABQ Anglin here, and man, I meant to have this video up uh, a while ago, but I ended up having some health issues, ended up staying a week in the hospital, but that's neither here nor there. Um, this video is actually part of the video that I posted yesterday, um, where we went up to Fenton Lake, um, basically to try and catch my wife some fish. We, I was using wax worms floating them about a foot below a bobber. And I kept catching these tiny little fish that I didn't recognize. I could, I, and I've been fishing my whole life. I watch fishing videos all day long on YouTube. My wife gets tired of them. I, I didn't recognize this fish at all. Um, and as you'll see in the video, it, they're just, for the area that we were fishing in, they just looked really weird. Um, so I'm going to put the video together, get it all edited up, and then I'll give you an outro on it and let you know exactly what, what we ended up finding out about it. Again, it's been a rather productive day. We got four little trout, stock trout on our stringer. And we've been catching these little thing. I don't know what they are, but they're, 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 not, they're not even six inches. They're like this big. They're extreme Philly fishing fish. Because you guys know he loves his micro fishing. But we're catching them on wax worms mostly. My wife's been getting lots of hits on night crawlers. We tried white bread. They're not even touching the white bread. Uh, Vienna sausage just falls off the hook. I mean, you really kind of need like a treble hook or a much bigger hook than the little salmon egg hook that we're using. But I'm going to keep working with the, the uh, wax worms just so I can get one on the line for you guys. Oh, I still got my worm. I still got my worm. I thought I was going to have to put a new one on, but I no. I don't know about the fish liking the cheese, but I do. <laughs> Did you hit the Gouda? No. Wisconsin sharp fish cutter. All right, guys. The thing is, with these waxworms, that they've hit it every single time I cast out. It's just getting that hook to set. That one. Oh. Came off. Yeah, it came off. I wonder if I still got my worm. I still got most of the worm. Good enough to throw back. I'm gonna get one of these guys for you. Oh. I don't know if I'm setting the hook too hard or if I'm. playing with it. Ugh. Nope, still got plenty on there. We're going to do it again. One's got it. One's playing with it. But he just jumped over here. Oh, but that worm that worm's done for now. Uh, all right, we will grab another worm. You know cheese is a classic fish bait, right? I can't believe that your dad would use corn 
hot dogs, Vienna sausages, and never used cheese? It's weird. They actually seem to bite better when the wind picks up. When the water's glass like this, they don't want to bite as much. But when the wind picks up and it gets just a little bit of chop in it, I think it gives that worm just enough action Kind of playing the line right now, so I'm trying to wiggle that worm down there. See if I can get one of their attention. You got a chipmunk on the cheese. On the cheese. Where's your chipmunk? Chipmunk's got some B A L L Z. Don't mess with my cheese. I'm looping the line, guys. I really hope I don't cook into a monster while I try and Never liked Vienna sausage, ever. I think because my dad liked them. It was one of those things. All right, I see he's still on there. Oh my God. The top half of your rod came off. <laughs> How did you manage that? I have no idea, but that's going in the video. <laughs> I, I Got one. There we go. There we go, guys. Finally got one. Finally. They're just, they're beautiful little fish. Check out the markings on these guys. If anybody knows what this is, let me know. I mean, it's just a beautiful little fish. I thought they were a smallmouth bass when I first caught them, but the bright red on there, I got no idea. I mean, we're in a lake. I don't think it's a creek chub. Doesn't look like a creek chub. But they're beautiful little fish. All right, guys. Babe, come over here. We're going to... There he goes. So even though the fish were really small, guys, like maybe four, five inches, it was some of the most exciting fishing that I've ever had in my life um, because they were literally hitting every single cast. And, and the challenge was to actually get, get that good hook set and get the fish in. Um, again, once the fish, once we got the fish in, couldn't identify it. Nobody around us could identify it. Um, so I took the pictures that I, that I've got, I took the video that I've got, I ended up calling the New Mexico, actually I ended up calling the local hatchery, which is just a few miles up the road, never got an answer back from them. Um, I ended up 
contacting the New Mexico Department of Game and Fish, and they were actually seriously concerned uh, because they didn't recognize the fish either when, when, when I first showed it to them. They were concerned because they use Fenton Lake as a breeding ground for um, Rio Grande cutthroat trout. It's a, a small breed that's of trout that's local to New Mexico, um, but they use that lake as a breeding ground for it. And they were concerned that this was an invasive species and that they were going to end up having to do a complete fish kill and kill everything in the lake. Um, however, uh, after contacting a couple other people, forwarding the video on to a couple other people, the good news is, is it is a native species called the Rio Grande chub. And they don't get much bigger than the ones I was catching. I mean, they, they get maybe five or six inches max, maybe up to eight inches. But most of the time, they're going to be about four or five inches. So I was catching normal sized fish. I'm glad that it was a native species. I'm glad that they're not going to have to do a fish kill because I really want to go back up there and try and catch more of them this summer. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And I will catch you next time. If you really enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, if you want to see more of my videos, hit that bell icon so you make sure you don't miss anything. And give me a thumbs up. Love you guys. Check you next time.